Starting from birth, milk and milk products are the staple food vital for human diet. Talking about the history of milk does not require giving any dates. 20 seconds after a baby born, it finds nipples only following the smell without even seeing around in its mother's arms. Mother does not even know what is happening. Humans must have attracted by slightly yellowish white colored liquid that is produced in the mammary glands for female mammals to feed their babies and contains all the necessary nutrients for the baby. How could human intelligence knowing how to use every opportunity keep away from such food? It is estimated that milk consumption dates back to 9000 BC in Iran, Afghanistan, and Anatolia after the domestication of animals. It is estimated that Turks, Mongols, and other nomadic tribes introduced milk processing techniques to modern Russians and Middle East countries. According to Homer, cheese was produced during the ancient Greek and Roman periods. Hard cheese types were good source of protein for the Roman soldiers and travelers. The Spanish introduced the Americas with milk in 1525, when they took dairy cattle to the Gulf of Mexico, from where they spread to the entire continent with the name of Vera Cruz, the city where the cattle were brought. As the saying goes, one man comes up and changes the world. In the past, milk could not be stored due to the amount of water in milk and its being an extremely favorable medium for microorganisms because of its biochemical components. And thus, it caused diseases to spread. In 1862, French microbiologist Louis Pasteur developed a method of pasteurization, which allows long-term healthy storing for milk, and thus a bigger volume of consumption. Thanks to the pasteurization, other fermentable liquids such as wine, beer, fruit juice, especially milk, have been opened for a long time storage. The first milk bottle was used in New York in 1884. In 1895, Pasteur introduced commercial pasteurization machines, which revolutionized milk industry to the world. With the invention of this method, storing milk, distributing it to long distances, and producing milk products now became possible. Today, the global milk production is 800 million tons and the largest milk producer is the European Union with 160 million tons, followed by the United States with 92 million tons and India with 65 million tons. The system in the milk industry after the second half of the 20th century was based on the fact that countries met their own demands first and then sold the surplus of production to the neighboring countries. 83% of global milk production is obtained from cows, 13% from water buffalo, and 4% from sheep and goats. Total global cheese production is 20 million tons. Although various types of cheese are produced traditionally on local basis, 70% of the demanded and traded cheese on the international market is produced in Europe and North America. Global butter production is 10 million tons and 40% of this amount is produced in India. Global yogurt production is only 50 million tons, which is produced mainly in China, Iran, and Turkey. At a rough estimate, approximately 160 million tons of milk is needed for 20 million tons of cheese, and 90 million tons of milk for 10 million tons of butter. So, about 40% of the global production is used for the production of these three products, vital for human health. Cheese, butter, and yogurt.
We learn new information about this liquid every single day. Along with being a miracle on its own, milk products such as yogurt, butter, cheese, kefir, crema, ice cream, aran, and milk powder are also vital for human life. This miraculous liquid contains three basic elements of good nutrition, fat, carbohydrates, and proteins, and is also a rich source of very beneficial minerals of calcium, phosphor, and magnesium. A glass of milk, 200 milliliters, contains about 130 calories. When we drink a glass of milk, we take 6.8 grams of protein, 9.4 grams of lactose, 7 grams of fat, 1.5 grams of minerals, most of which are potassium and calcium, and 0.7 grams of vitamins A, B2, B12, D, E, and K. Transporting milk from milk houses to industry requires a painful and planned organization. Approximately half of the 800 million tons produced in the world is a pasteurized consumption. The basic technique of pasteurization is as follows. The milk must be reheated rapidly and sufficiently to allow the microbes to die, be held for a short time, and again be recooled rapidly without the formation of microbes. The milk found on the market is kept about 15 seconds at 65 degrees and brought back very quickly to 4 degrees, which is the marketing temperature. The shelf life of this type of milk is between 3 to 5 days and must be kept in the refrigerator at home. The UHT long life milk will be heated to 140 degrees, held for 4 to 5 seconds and then cooled very quickly. The UHT milk can be stored for two to six months at room temperature. However, it should be kept in the refrigerator after opening and the milk should be consumed within two days. In opposition to popular belief, no additive substance is used in both milk storage methods. Nevertheless, in comparison with UHT milk, with both methods being healthy, Daily milk has been found to better protect calcium minerals, vitamins A, B6, and B12 compared. Cheese, the second most important foodstuff produced from milk, is one of the rare foodstuffs that increase in value and taste during storage. Cheeses are generally stored between 2 and 5 degrees, have storage times of 2 to 12 months. The butter obtained from the milk can be stored for 12 months at negative 25 degrees. The cold chain is one of the largest trade volumes of our planet, providing dairy products to travel around the world. Milk is a very important nutrient produced when mammals give birth, and it is available for a short time only to feed and grow the babies. We are surmounting this milk with the most gentle description. So, let's do it, whether by drinking or making cheese, but never waste any drop of milk.